Terrain states help you organize your earthworks project over time. They form the foundation for volume difference calculations and cut and fill maps. In this video, I will share some ideas with you on how to work with terrain states. Stay with me. Number 1. Drone Surveys The simplest way is when you compare different drone surveys. I have a drone survey here from multiple dates between July and August 8th. I want to add the next time step. I click on the Terrain States drop-down menu, type the new date, August 15th, and hit Enter. I select the new Terrain State. It is still empty. So, I browse to the ortho and DSM that I want to add. I add them to the new terrain state by clicking Insert. I can easily change states through the drop-down menu. July 15th, July 25th, August 2nd, and so on. When I have data in the wrong state, I can easily move them to the correct state with cut and paste. Number two, remove machines. You see that there are a lot of machines and equipment on site. Before you calculate a volume difference, you need to remove all this. This can be done with the Clean Terrain tool in the Home tab. I trace around this excavator. And when I right click, the excavator will drop to the ground. I've done this for the other machines as well. Terrain states assure that these corrections apply to the active terrain only. The machines will be for sure in a different place with your next drone survey. I'm ready now to select my boundary and to calculate a volume difference. Number 3. Terrestrial Surveys In this example, I will create a terrain state from a terrestrial survey. I click on the Terrain States drop-down and create State, Reference Survey. Then I load the CAD file with the Terrestrial Survey. I triangulate the survey and modify the terrain with the resulting surface. I turn off the surface and break lines and see that I have created a terrain from the survey. I go to December 1st and select the work area. I set the reference state to Reference Survey and click Volume Difference. Number 4. Design Scenario for this quarry, I have a DTM and a design surface for a new haul road. To calculate a cut and fill map, I need to create a terrain state for the design scenario. Then I cut and paste the design surface to this new state. I modify terrain and I put some color over it with the elevation lens. This looks a bit thin, so I also copy and paste the DTM to this state. I make sure that the new design appears on top with Move Down or Move Up buttons. Finally, I calculate the volume difference. The cut and fill numbers appear in the lower left corner. And the cut and fill map shows where soil will be removed and where soil will be added. Number 5. Create a baseline. On this side, I create a baseline terrain that I use as a reference for all my drone surveys. I can do this with the low pass points. I will have some points on the piles and remove these with the Erase tool. Then I triangulate within and modify the terrain to the surface. I cut the terrain modifier and paste it into a new state called baseline. My baseline terrain is ready now. 
I select the boundary, set the reference to baseline, and calculate the volume difference for the entire site. I pin the cut and fill map and can look at every state with the baseline as the reference. Thank you for watching. Continue to watch some of our other videos. Also, click the logo to subscribe to the channel and keep up with new videos.